dropped my boyfriend off at the airport this morning and scheduled a early morning yoga class since I would be up. So I just got out of that and I really liked it. I haven't done yoga in a while. It's 8.20 right now. So I've been up since like 6 a.m. I'm going to get a coffee because I have a long day ahead of me. But I don't know what I'm near right now. I'm like in an area I've never been. So let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to Yellow Dog because they sell Slingshot, which is my favorite cold brew ever. It's like that. Um box one that I have in my fridge they sell it at this um bakery so I'm going to go there it's like four minutes away so it's perfect wow I feel so calm I leave for Colorado on Thursday and it's Tuesday right now so today and tomorrow is going to be a lot of prepping today actually I have to drive Polly to my mom because my mom always watches Polly when I'm out of town she has like a whole setup that's like pretty much exactly her setup here at my mom's house so it's not like she like gets into her routine within like 20 minutes of me letting out of her carrier so it's not like a traumatic travel experience for her um, I do travel like I feel like quite a bit considering that I have a pet that like doesn't travel well and you can't really board a lot of places but thankfully I'm close to my mom and she loves watching her so she's going to watch her for the next couple of days and then I'll pick her up next week it's kind of like we call it summer camp um, or just camp I guess she's going to like her little sleepaway camp I have to do some work on my computer before that though I want to leave to go to my mom at like one because it's about a three hour drive and I want to hang out with her for an hour or two like maybe get dinner and then drive back to Raleigh tonight. I have a meeting like early tomorrow morning or else I like might spend the night there, but I just kind of want to like get back into my routine and like into my apartment so I can start, you know, switching laundry and like doing all that kind of travel stuff. So that's kind of my day. I don't have anything like specific to film today, which is nice, but I do want to film some stuff tomorrow and I want to plan out some content that I want to film like on my actual ski trip. I also have a suitcase full of ski stuff in my trunk right now. Oh my gosh, I didn't even go over what has happened with my car since the last time I vlogged. I had to jumpstart my car five times yesterday. Was it five? It might have been six. I had to jumpstart my car so many times yesterday because the battery just randomly like died out of nowhere. First I thought I was out of gas. I thought that I had like parked it and ran out of gas at the same time. So I bought like a gas can and got a little thing of gas, came back to my car, filled it up. Lo and behold it was a battery the whole time so I like wasted money on like a $25 gas can but that's okay. So then it turned out to be the battery and I had to run errands yesterday and I had to get gas yesterday because I was low on gas and it was just it was a nightmare anyways i had to go to the dealership yesterday and get a whole new battery which was like 250 dollars but it was going to be like 220 at advanced auto and advanced auto couldn't install it for me because i have like a german car i have a volkswagen so they were saying that like in order to change the battery on a volkswagen you have to like do a reset of the whole computer system so advanced auto wouldn't do it had to go to the dealership it was this whole thing yesterday but now the car is in tip-top shape which is great because i'm obviously driving to my mom's today but i just got to the bakery so i'm gonna go in and get my coffee so good all right going back home and getting straight to work all right my hair and my freaking forehead looks massive because of that headband i had on oh my gosh can i like do anything about that i think it'll flatten out as the day goes on my god let's just ignore my like massive forehead today i put in a little laundry i'm going to clean my white sneakers because this has been something that i've been putting off my favorite white sneakers clean up really well but right now they're like gray so these are like my favorite white sneakers of all times they're apl tech loom breeze i've had them for over a year as soon as i wash them they like consistently look brand new so i like have no urge to replace them they actually sell them at dicks and i've noticed that you can you never used to be able to find these on sale but now you can find them on sale at dicks yeah can you see how dirty those are that's like an accurate lighting anyways so i have this load of towels to do after i finish the load that's in there right now and i also want to clean these guys up <laughs> these are golden gooses so they're like made to look dirty so i'm nervous to like sit there and scrub at them if i'm scrubbing the dirt that's supposed to be i don't know i don't really get how these work i just found myself wearing air force ones like way too often with everything and i just figured these would like look I mean, they do. They look, like, more elevated. I like that they're all white and the, like, dirty look was, like, very minimal on these. Actually, these ones might not have. I'll have to find, like, the product picture. These ones, no, I think they do come a little scuffed up. 
Anyways, I'm gonna try and clean those really quick because I'm leaving in two days. So two days should be enough time for those to dry. All right, this is what I have to use today. I realized that I used to use um, this like laundress whitening powder, but obviously like can't use that anymore. They recalled everything. So I, you know, why did I just say recall? Recall? I apologize. Anyways, I'm going to use this 7th generation lavender laundry detergent. I used to have like a cleaning toothbrush. I feel like everyone has a cleaning toothbrush. Can't find it right now, so I'm hoping a scrub daddy will work. And then I ran out of stain spray, so I'm going to use these like shout wipes on anything that like won't come out. And I'm just going to clean them in my bathroom sink because I can like disinfect this easily. But this is the before. All right, and this is after. Doesn't obviously look that much different, but this is kind of like a pre-wash. I do throw them in with a load of towels. Um, some people, I, I posted that on TikTok. People told me that was disgusting, but like, I don't care. So I throw them in with like one or two white towels or like rags, let's say rags. Maybe I won't throw them in with my bath towels anymore, but I will throw them in with some rags. And I don't think I'm gonna put these in the wash. Um, these are like <laughs> really expensive. I've never cleaned them before. I'm kind of scared to mess it up. I'm pretty sure they're leather. So like these should definitely not go in the wash. But I just wipe these down with a shout wipe and they look a little bit better. I think I might remove the laces and wash those. But I'm scared to like mess the actual shoe up. That's where we're at on that. The washer is still going, but this will be the next load to go in. I want to get this load in and potentially even switch before I leave with Polly just because I want these to be dry and these take like two days to dry one time I was leaving for a trip and I cut it way too close and I put these in the dryer on like no heat and I was like okay like I think the reason you don't want to dry these is because it could like melt the rubber so I was like oh I'll just put them in on like low heat don't like literally don't put your shoes in the dryer at all do you see like that like cut um it got stuck in something in the dryer so it was like going in the dryer but it was stuck so like it was the dryer was moving the shoe wasn't um it still obviously it didn't impact like the functionality of the shoe and it's not that noticeable when you're like wearing them and walking in them this is evidence of my mistake it's not worth like obviously replacing the shoes over but don't put your sneakers in the dryer even if you're like short on time next i want to edit a youtube video and i also have some like bookkeeping accounting stuff to do on my computer so i'm going to try it's not even 10 a.m yet i love the feeling of waking up early like when i'm actually up and at it but i hate like actually physically waking up early so whenever i'm up early i'm like oh my gosh i should do this more often and then when the alarm goes off i'm like no i usually wake up around like 7 30 but today i woke up at like 6 10 so that's like what i consider like early let me check how long the washer has actually okay 20 minutes so I'll be able to put in a couple more loads, especially like the sneakers before I leave. But I'm gonna try and make some progress on this YouTube video. My computer died, so I stopped to make some breakfast. I've just been making like yogurt bowls recently. This looked way prettier before I mixed it all together, but I do a plain yogurt, either like Greek or I like the Siggy's yogurt, which I think is technically like Icelandic yogurt. I don't think it's Greek yogurt, but it tastes similar to me. I like plain with no flavor because I kind of like the tartness of the yogurt itself. And then I do granola. Today I added some blueberries. And then I really like the Blender Bombs Bomb Drizzle. It's like a date syrup. I also have a date syrup from Thrive Market that I'm going to try out. But I still have some of the Blender Bomb ones. So I'm like using that one up. I'm just sitting out here to eat. And then I'm going to get back to editing. And I did throw the sneakers in the wash. So I'll be able to... There's been men rappelling down my building and like we have these windows so obviously I, they're like staring at me um, for the past couple of days because they're doing some work on the exterior of the building and it's so funny because like every now and then I'll like see a foot. Anyways, I'm going to eat this and then get back to editing the video. Did you see that? Made a little iced Americano since I have no milk or creamer left and I'm going to make some more progress on my video because my computer finally turned back on. My computer keeps freezing so this video is probably going to have to be finished later tonight but my shoes just came out of the washer and they look brand new. I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go. Look at how clean, these literally look like new shoes aside from my little accident there. These look like brand new shoes. These are worth every penny. I swear these are going to last for like years to come. Polly's out to play, so I'm glad she's like getting some activity in before our road trip that she has no idea is coming. But I'm going to make lunch. I have leftovers from dinner last night, and then I'll probably get on the road with her. 
night I made a new recipe from the Define Dish. It's a Swedish meatball recipe. <laughs> if you have had Swedish meatballs before, you know that this looks like not appetizing whatsoever, but it's so good. Okay, I switched my loads of laundry and now I'm running the dishwasher because our dishwasher in this apartment takes like three and a half hours to do a load of dishes. And I've tried messing with the settings, but when you decrease the time at all, it just like doesn't wash them. So I'm running the dishwasher so that by the time I get back from dropping off Polly, I'll be able to unload that and load it again before we leave Thursday. Made another Americano because this is actually surprisingly good. I thought I wouldn't like it because I usually add creamer to all my coffee, but this is really good. Dryer's going, dishwasher's going. I think that's pretty much everything I can do right now. It's almost two o'clock, so I'm leaving later than I wanted. Polly is unfortunately extremely relaxed right now. So I'm gonna have to rip her out of her slumber. But let's see if she'll get in this as easily as she did for the vet the other day. Please. She's all buckled into the back seat and ready for the drive. I'll reach back every now and then and like pet her and I'll stop and check on her, obviously. My check engine light just came on. I brought my car to the dealership yesterday and they said when they checked my battery, they would do another multi-point inspection on my car and they told me everything was fine. And now my check engine light is on. If I make it all the way to my mom's, I'm just gonna stop at like an advanced auto. There's like an O'Reilly near where she lives, so I know sometimes you can stop at those and they'll put that little diagnostic thing in and it'll tell me what needs to be done, but you've gotta be kidding me. As I'm driving, I'm realizing that I don't think I've explained what this like trip is that I'm prepping for, like what I'm doing in this video. So me and my boyfriend and a group of our friends planned a trip to Breckenridge, Colorado to have like five days at this like cute cabin that I found on Airbnb and we're gonna go skiing for a couple of days and then just spend some time together, you know, catch up. These are people that live kind of all across the country. A couple of them live in Arlington. Someone lives in actual DC. A few of them live in Denver, so that's nice. They like save themselves a flight. And then my boyfriend and I obviously just moved to Raleigh over the past couple months. So this is kind of a little reunion trip. All right, we're here. I'm back in my apartment now. I dropped Polly off and I got dinner with my mom and then I just like sat and chat with her for a little bit. Then I got back on the road. It's like 10 o'clock. It's 10.15 actually and I talked to my friend on the drive back. So it actually wasn't bad. I'm not one to like talk on the phone while I'm driving but it like passed the time so well. Maybe that's like my new thing. Maybe that'll be one of my, um. I don't really have New Year's resolutions but one of my New Year's goals or things that I want to prioritize in this coming year is keeping better contact with long distance friends. I don't know. I just need to be better about that in the new year. And I just spent like three hours chatting with one of my friends from Arlington. Obviously I like don't get to see that often. So that was really nice. I am trying to think about like what I want to do before I go to bed. I drink a Celsius on the drive home. I probably drank it around like seven. So I think even if I got in bed right now, as much as I want to go to bed, I literally don't think I could sleep, which is my own fault. But I needed it obviously to like be alert and safe. I'm trying to think about what I need to still do tonight. This suitcase was in my trunk from my trip over New Year's. It's filled with all of my ski stuff, me and my boyfriend's ski stuff, but I didn't wash any of it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. At least like wash our, this is like his literal shirt. I don't know why that's in there. I'm gonna wash all of the base layer stuff and just make sure that's clean. I ordered a ton of ski stuff on Amazon. It was still so expensive. I feel like there's no way to ski cheaply and expensively. I don't know. It's like a very expensive thing to get into, but I feel like once you own the equipment, it will like last you years and years to come. We got helmets that were like rated really well for safety with like this MIPS thing um, I found when I was researching. Goggles, like the ski suit stuff. I just got black because as much as I would love to have like cute different ones for like the different days of skiing, like black will just like always look good and like match with things. And then my boyfriend actually got me the Aritzia Super Puff mittens and I loved these. I mean, I still do love them, but I'm an idiot and didn't realize that skis were like sharp. And I don't know if you can really see on camera, but I sliced into the actual glove, which is good. I mean, I'm glad that wasn't like my wrist, but yeah, kind of a bummer that I like ripped these the first time I wore them. They're actually like, they have makeup all over them because my nose, this is so nasty. My nose would be like obviously running because it was cold outside 
and there's like snotty makeup. I can't believe I'm showing that. Anyway, those are getting washed. I take back what I said about the Celsius because I'm actually getting pretty tired. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. I wanted to whiten my, I almost said whiten my strips. I wanted to whiten my teeth with some whitening strips tonight. So I'm gonna use some of those. Then I'm also gonna do like a chocolate brown glaze in my hair. Um, I feel like products like that are truly hit or miss. Like I've used so many like, like the overtone. I actually have never tried the overtone um, brand, but those type of things like the color depositing conditioners and nine times out of 10, they either turn your hair green, purple, something. This one, unless I'm delusional, this one like actually looks decent in my hair. I did a quick coat of it last night, but I wanna do another one today. I'm hesitant to even like recommend something like this because I genuinely think it just depends on so many other factors about your hair, like the porosity of it and like how much you've bleached it before, like what your starting color is. Um, So try that type of stuff at your own risk. And I'm gonna try and catch up on some of my water intake while I'm getting ready for bed because I need to be hydrated for this whole elevation thing. All right, forget what I said about that hair mask because I left it on the counter when I got in the shower and I was too lazy to get up and get it. So I'll just do that tomorrow. Oh, you have to leave them on for 30 minutes. I do not want to commit to being awake for the next 30 minutes. I need everyone to know that I have this giant massive pile of clean clothes on my bed right now and I slept next to it. My first coffee of the day. I'm gonna do a couple of things on my computer and then I have a Brazilian wax appointment at 9 a.m., like eight right now. All right, just finished that up and it's like 8.30 now, so I want to shower before my wax because I always obviously shower before I get a wax. This sweatshirt is from Abercrombie. It's a men's sweatshirt. I actually got it for my boyfriend for Christmas and like I keep borrowing it so it's also a gift to myself. Then I just have black leggings and I'm gonna wear white sneakers. Screw my lip balm back together, but maybe even the white sneakers that I cleaned yesterday. And let's see if these are dry. I think so. They look so good. I think I forgot to mention last night, but I did stop at an O'Reilly and get them to like plug in that diagnostic thing into my car to tell me why the check engine light was on because obviously I wanted to know um, if it was something that would like jeopardize my safety on the drive home and it's some like sensor that I need to get replaced but it's not like oh my gosh stop driving immediately and get it replaced it's just like something to be aware of so I'm just gonna drive on it today and then get my car fixed when I'm back from Colorado and I'm gonna make an appointment at like a local place that I found so that way I can stop going to the dealership because Something's not right about that place. This is where I've been going in Raleigh to get my waxes. It's Remedy Wax Studio. It's amazing. There's two estheticians and I've been to both and they're like both great. I highly recommend. But I just finished there and I brought some returns to do. This was from like the Western thing that I did over New Year's. I did like a murder mystery night and I bought this like as a backup and I didn't wear it. So I would love my money back on that. So I'm gonna go run and do some returns. I think I'm gonna go to the South Point Mall too and just see if I can in, well mainly because I there's an H&M return deep in there but I also want to see what clothes maybe I can find for Colorado like comfy warm layers okay, actually our first stop is Nordstrom Rack okay I really like these two sweaters they're by the same brand and judging by the tag this is a very expensive brand um, but I think I would never wear this again but I feel like that's like such a cozy little cute ski buy but I would literally never wear that again and then this one I just like the coloring of it, but I always hate wearing a turtleneck. I love the idea of a turtleneck, and these are so much money to like not be positive about, but they're really cute. I don't really see much else here. Okay, I take it back. I'm no longer in my Nordstrom Rock era. That was so expensive, and they didn't really have good things. So maybe I just went on a really good day last time I was here. I might go to Starbucks first, because there's a Starbucks nearby, and I would get a breakfast sandwich. I got my Starbucks and I tried to do something nice in there, but I'm worried that it came across rude. The couple in front of me, they're probably in like their 30s. It was a man and a woman and they had placed their order and then their app, something was wrong with their app and then their Apple Pay wouldn't work. And then they didn't bring their wallets inside. So someone, one of them like ran out to their car to get their wallet. And um, I looked and their total was like $6. First of all, how did two people order at Starbucks and how is it $6? But it was $6 because it was taking them a little long to find, I don't know. Like it was, it was like a, 
a small ordeal, nothing major, you know what happens, it's happened to me. But I was like, oh my gosh, like I'll just like pay for these people's coffee. So I said, look, oh my gosh, like no, I would like, I'd love to pay for it, like don't worry about it. And <laughs> I think it came across that I was like impatient but I meant it as like a nice gesture, but they were like, oh, I'm so sorry we held up the line. Like, you didn't have to do that, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh, like, I would just thought I was doing something nice, but I feel like they thought that I was just like impatient. I was like, I'll pay for it. Wait, is this mall open? You're kidding me. Actually, I have to eat my breakfast first. I got the sausage, egg and cheese, English muffin sandwich and a large iced latte. Did I do a latte? No, I did a cold brew. I do cold brew with cream, which I think I've established by now. <laughs> All right, y'all, well, the mall does not open till 11, so I kind of feel like an idiot, but I'm looking into Forever 21, like through the windows, and I'm seeing stuff that I want, so I think it's worth like coming back when they open, but I have stuff to do at Target, so I might, actually, I think the department stores are open. Maybe I'll go, I'll go to Nordstrom and see if they're open. Just got out of the mall. I was pretty successful. I'll give you a haul when I get home. But I did just try and drive like half a mile down the road and my car started freaking out and told me to pull over like something was wrong with the oil. I am like in the same parking lot as Target right now. So I'm gonna try and make it over there and then I'm just gonna buy a quart of oil and like pour it in. Up until this point, this car has been so reliable and my car before this was like an old Toyota. So it was a tank. So I never had issues with it. I need my car issue era to end immediately because I can't deal with this. Like I literally can't deal with this. This is like a full grocery store in this Target. And this is me realizing that I literally left my returns in my car. Okay, I know my car takes full synthetic. So this says platinum full synthetic. I think this is it. I'm gonna Google and make sure this is the right thing. Honestly, I feel like it could have stood another quart of oil, so. I do not know what's going on with this thing. Let's see. I was gonna stop at TJ Maxx. Eh, I'm still gonna stop at TJ Maxx. I was about to say I'm not in the mood to go to TJ Maxx. I'm still in the mood to go to TJ Maxx. I'm home now, but I wanna show you everything that I got and we'll start with H&M. I got this tote bag. I think I'm gonna use this as my personal item since I'm checking a bag. My personal item can be like truly more of a purse than like a second piece of luggage. And then I got a pair of spare mittens to bring just in case I misplace them since we're skiing two days. I wanted to have a spare set just in case I lost them. These were $14.99. I'm not expecting them to be like obviously extremely warm or anything, but it'll just be like nice to have a spare. I got this bag, not necessarily for the trip, but I thought the shape of this and like the style of it was reminiscent of the YSL one. I want the YSL one in black, so I got this kind of as like a tester to see if I wear the black one that often. I got this little head earmuff headband thing from H&M, and then I got this little kind of like neck gaiter thing. It was on sale for $3. It was $13, but I figured I would probably use that. So got that. I also got a pair of, what are these called? Like fingerless gloves. And then that's all from H&M. I did stop at Plato's Closet too because I passed one. And I think I have total in my wardrobe, like four or five pairs of black leggings. But I think I'm going to be... I'm obviously gonna pack every single pair I have. I'm gonna wear one. I'm gonna want one for the plane ride home. So I just wanted to get more black leggings. So I just went to Play-Dohs. I got a pair of Airy, they're the Airy offline ones. And these like feel brand new. These were $10. So I'm gonna wash those actually. And then I got another pair from Play-Dohs as well. These were $14, but I really like these. These are Everlane Renew. I like these. So these are gonna go in the wash so that I can bring those. At Forever 21, I got some no-show socks and then some ankle socks. I also got this workout set. This again, not necessarily for Colorado. I'll probably actually wear it on the plane. Like, tell me that's not so cute. Set Active released like their own contrast Meredith Blake type of stuff that looks exactly like this and it sold out in I think like six minutes. I went to the website six minutes after the launch and it was sold out. So I just got this set. It was I think like $35 total. I haven't tried it on. Hopefully it's what I'm picturing it to be but 
we'll see. So that was from Forever 21 from Aerie. I do not feel like trying it on for you right now. I'm sorry, you'll see it in Colorado, but it's this sleeveless sweater thing with like a white long sleeve under it, black leggings, little boots. I think it'll be cute. And at Lulu, I got my boyfriend a winter coat. It's gonna be a Valentine's Day present. I literally got him a Valentine's Day card at Target. I'm sure by the time Valentine's Day comes around, I'll still get him something, but I got him this high warmth water repellent windproof down jacket it's really nice let me show you i think he's gonna love it it was ungodly expensive then from target i got more cleo bars that need to go in the fridge and i also got two midday squares because my boyfriend loves the peanut butter midday squares and then also from target i got a gray scarf i have scarves but they're really 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 bulky and i think it's gonna be a pain to pack so i just got this one i don't know this might be something i return i also got this long sleeve like thermal shirt and i got a long sleeve white shirt this is what i was thinking more so for under this sweater thing the valentine's day card a white version and then since it's a group trip i got two of these like night dress shirt things i wouldn't just like walk out into the kitchen and in some of the pajamas that i have now so i just like got these because i think these will be you know cute but modest so all right we're almost done this is what i got at tj Maxx: a extra phone charger power bank and then i also got my boyfriend this let me just stack up his little goodies because i found single servings of his protein powder at whole foods that he was like oh cool I'll like bring those in and drink them after skiing so i thought it would be like cute to have a cute little blender bottle i don't know definitely unnecessary but valentine's day came early for him so i have like 30 minutes before i have to go to the airport and pick up my boyfriend so i I'm going to try and like clean up all the dirty laundry so we can start packing obviously and that or all the clean laundry maybe empty the dishwasher i don't know i'm going to see how much i can get done in like the next 30 minutes okay cleared off the bed a little bit and now i have to run to the airport because i think he's about to land back from the airport and i'm starting packing again as soon as my boyfriend walked in the door he had a meeting so he's like oblivious and hasn't been in here yet but honestly he's probably gonna hate this and like make me return it because he does not like expensive gifts or he doesn't like accepting expensive gifts he has very expensive taste but does not like when people gift him expensive things so I'm gonna work on my outfits and plan what's going on each day. I think I'm gonna put an Instagram poll up because I got these shoes from Dolce Vita. They're all waterproof, so they're gonna be great. That's why I got them because I wanted some like cute waterproof boots, um, but I'm only there for five days, so it's silly to pack all three. So I'm gonna put a poll on my Instagram story and see which ones people think I should pack. The people have spoken and these ones are winning by a landslide. So I guess I'm going to build most of my outfits around wearing these shoes. I'm also going to bring tennis shoes. But like when I'm walking, I think I'm going to be in these. Is this stupid? Do I need like a casual boot? Let me show you another pair that I got at ASOS. I also have these. Maybe I'll bring these just for like casual stuff. I feel like this is like the snow equivalent of my white sneaker obsession. All right, y'all, I started off strong. I was planning like outfit by outfit, but now I'm just in pure chaos mode and I'm just packing like long sleeve shirts and random sweaters. And I'm sure, you know, it'll all come together when I'm actually there. Okay, I have my airport outfit, this little set sweatshirt and my super puff laid out for the morning and the bedroom is straightened up and so is the bathroom and then all of our bags are out here because there's a couple things in the dryer right now and then drying on the clothing rack that we'll need to add to these in the morning but we're at a really good spot it's nine o'clock we have to be at the airport around six so we're trying to go to bed here in the next like 20 30 minutes so that way we can at least try and get like seven hours of sleep before that looking good it's 5 a.m i faked tan last night just showered it off washed my hair and put on a little makeup because it's about to be a long day but thank you so much for watching hopefully my next vlog is a vlog of the trip itself so stay tuned for that i hope you have a great day and make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok if you want to stay more up to date on what i'm up to